Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, this morning on the kitchen table uh, is going to be one of my increasingly irregular and rare general news updates in and around the world of DJI and um, the vision range and some other bits and pieces. And I'm also going to um, give you an update about where I am and what's coming up over the next couple of weeks in terms of stuff on the channel. Um, so we'll start with a welcome return to the mug that's not quadcopters but looks like it might be. And for those of you who have interest, strange enough, I get requests for more detail on what I'm drinking, but I'm sorry to disappoint you, it's very early for me, it's coffee, but it is a home-roasted single-origin Guatemalan from Cuchimatan in the Huehuetenanga region. Thank you, Daisy, do you mind? Uh, so, it's very nice, so, yeah, mm. cheers. Mm. So, let's talk first about DJI news. Well, there's been a, an, another firmware update this week. Mm. Daisy? Shush! Another firmware up this week, uh, update this week to 3.04, I think, if you're running the Phantom range. Now, this I, this is a new departure for DJI. Previously, they've just done big releases. Um, now we appear to be getting sort of more frequent little bitty releases. So whether this is a change in the project management team and they're sort of adding, adding bits that they feel are... Uh, you know, uh, useful as they go rather than saving them for larger updates or maybe it is actually the, the case that they found a problem with the original al algorithms that they programmed and they're, they're correcting them but we don't know. All we're saying is um, all they're saying is that it's further improving the stability if you're carrying a heavy payload and they've updated the no-fly database. Now if you have a ideological problem with the no-fly database and you believe you should be able to fly in the center line for JFK airport or whatever, then you know you can still use uh, version two, but you won't get any further updates. Um, I've been running my P2 with the very latest firmware up to now. I haven't got 04 on yet because it's been raining and I haven't been able to see it. But certainly, I'm running a fairly heavy build on mine, um, and I'm not noticing any particular issues apart from the fact that it is obviously slower now to descend. Um, uh, yeah. At least you can roll it back, I guess, but but I personally haven't found any issues. I don't know what they've changed to make it better and more stable for heavier craft, but you know, mine mine is 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 heavier than most and it's it's performing fine. It's not a sports model, and I think if you want a sports model, then maybe the, the, the Phantom range isn't quite for you. Maybe you need to be looking at a bit of a more of a frame and having a look at that. So that's the latest news. So there is firmware updates available. Whether this trend of doing very small minor updates is what we're going to be seeing or whether this is just fixing some serious bugs, I don't know. Daisy, do you mind? I'm trying to be professional here. Thank you. Um, so the other, uh, that's the only sort of solid bit of news from DJI. But now we'll move to the rumor mill. The rumor mill has been churning again. For those of you with a Vision or a Vision Plus, as you know, there was a rumor a while back about the um, the Waypoints app version of the of the app for those two uh, aircraft. Um, and there was a flurry of rumors, and then suddenly it kind of did appear that, that it was being tested in the field. We've seen some screenshots appear on the forums from people who are obviously testing it not in the car park in the factory in Shenzhen, which is probably a very good thing um, going forward. But we've seen people obviously in somewhere in the States and other places. Um, the rumor mill now says that those field trials of the release candidate are finished and all the reports are back in. And so within a week, perhaps, or two at the most, apparently, we should see the app launched for everyone now nothing formal has come from dji this is just the rumor mill churning again but um you know this one seems a bit more it seems to have more more more, more substance to it than previous rumors about things so who knows um if it does come soon um, i might be away next week when it when it comes out but just just manage your expectations as to how much you can do with it compared to the full iPad ground station. That's all I'm going to say. I, I think you know, don't get don't get your hopes up too much about what kind of exciting adventures you'll be able to have. I think you know because it's an app update and, and not with a full suite of things. I think it's going to be fairly limited. But who knows? Some people might have a use for it. A lot of as I know will want to have a play with it. So we'll see. Um, uh, there are some other rumors floating around, but I'm not going to talk about those because they are very very flimsy and insubstantial and I haven't seen them anywhere else so uh, if I if I see them start to come out more widespread I will I will sort of you know talk about them but I've only seen it in one fairly narrow source at the moment so mm -mm -mm. that is good coffee 
Um, so, um, <clears throat> what else is happening? Well, I've got, this all arrived today. I've had like a part of my loot crate. Anybody who hasn't had a loot crate is a bit geeky. That's quite a cool thing. I haven't even opened that yet, so we'll have a look at that. I've had some, some prezzies come. Um, legs for the 450, the landing gear to go underneath the 450, just to raise it up. Um, cheap and cheerful, and they do the job, and they're light. It's what we like. Those have come. Um, also this, which I'm going to review. And the, most, the important part is this. This is the 16 channel receiver. We finally decided we are going to go with DJI on that score because basically for us newcomers to building your own, I take a I take a supplied plug from here and I put it into the relevant slot in the NASA and that's it installed and I walk away. So that to me for ease of installation is um you know is pretty good. And then we'll have a we'll have a see where we where we get to that. Um unfortunately you can't buy it separately. I had to buy it with the transmitter but that was just under a hundred quid. Um and you know, I don't need that one. I could, I guess, I could use my P2 one, but I've kind of put stickers on it and bits and pieces. It might be quite handy to have a separate, a separate um, transmitter. Um, saves rebinding every time. Anyway, so that's something else. Um, I also got this is what I bought from Horizon FPV antennas. This is their kit of antennas specifically for your Black Pearl FPV screen. This is their Nimrod encapsulated skew planer that goes on the aircraft, and that is really good idea for having that hanging down underneath the um, the aircraft because this one apparently there's a lifetime guarantee on it. If you manage to break it, send him a photo and explain how and he will he will replace it for you, not including postage. So that's quite good. That's going to go on the aircraft. And then I've got one of these each for the top of the um, the screen. This sort of standard sort of omnidirectional skew planer for close in and behind you and everywhere. And then a more directional um, helical that you can put onto the top and then actually sort of point in the more in the direction to uh, to get the best quality sort of FPV on that screen. Again, I'm not I'm not looking at monster distance. I don't do full blown FPV. What I'm looking at is a really strong signal um, up to kind of visual line of sight range where I can actually sort of frame the video and I can see if I've got any sort of props in the shot and things like that without things going a little bit snowy and hazy. So I'm going to test that out. That was bought. And because I bought it and then Will, very kindly, bless him, threw some extras in for me to test. And for you Vision Classic owners, um, look at this monster. Um, this is a 12 dBi Blackhawk, but it's not a Blackhawk only. He's also put inside it the 5.8. So rather than having a separate 5.8 on your transmitter that you've modified and then a Blackhawk, he's put a 12 dBi set together, one nested inside the other. So that's just one unit. Um, so as I've already got the mods and I've got the patch cables ready, um, I can just put that on and I'll test that when I break the vision out and uh, when the weather improves, I'll test to see what we get with a 12. My existing 2.4 is a 9, uh, as was my existing 5.8. So this is a double 12, so we should be able to get some, um, some very strong control and video out of that. So I'll be testing that. Um, yeah, and that's that's it really. Um, I've also got um, some um, some stickers coming um, from a rival company to UAVstickers.com. So they've um, they've very kindly offered to send through, some through to um, for me to have a look at. Um, so I'll be checking those out when they arrive and giving giving you a review of those. Um, other than that, that's about it for news. Um, like I said, I haven't heard anything particularly concrete about um, new DJI products as yet. Um, although they do seem to be moving towards the sort of gimbals and stability. There, there's a new gimbal out for the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. Uh, their Pro range is definitely starting to look like it's all about the stability. It's all about the gimbals. Um, so that's looking like an interesting move from them. But we'll see. Who knows? It's been six months since the Phantom 2 was, was, was launched. We must, we must be in line for a Phantom 3 knowing DJI surely soon. Anyway, um, that's it for now. So uh, a few more updates to come over the next few days on the F450 build and a couple more product reviews. Um, but if there's anything else that you would like uh, me to talk about that's within the scope of my very limited knowledge, then just um, let me know down there on the comments. Um, other than that, thanks very much for subscribing. Thank you for watching. And uh, we'll see you again soon back on the kitchen table. Cheers.